doing, everybody? Welcome back to the channel where we talk about movies and television shows and comics and a whole bunch of other stuff. I am your host, Frank Zank. I'm an award-winning screenwriter, novelist, and comic book writer. And we're going to do a little trailer reaction. Of course, I saw the first trailer for Furiosa already, uh, which is based on Mad Max. I've seen all the Mad Max films. I saw, you know, Thunderdome uh, in the theater. I, I can't say that I saw uh, Road Warrior in the theater. I only saw that later. Um, but, uh, I came to really appreciate those films, uh, especially with Mel Gibson playing the role. Uh, and then, uh, I did, uh, meet, I forgot the guy's name that did, uh, Mad Max. I did meet, uh, him at, uh, uh, at his house along with, uh, the guy that played, uh, the Mohawk guy in, in Road Warrior. Really nice guy. Uh, but anyway, I hung out with them when we were doing a little teeny shoot at their house and stuff like that. But anyway, so uh, I was excited to see Fury Road. Um, I am a big fan of Charlize Theron. Uh, I do like uh, What's-His-Face that, that played uh, Road Warrior and played Venom, uh, Tom Hardy. And... Uh, I can't, I, I, people were praising him. I did not think he was a good Mad Max at all. He didn't have the gravitas that Mel Gibson has, the swagger, etc. He comes off more as a grunt than he does a, you know, strategic guy uh, that's just overly brave, maybe too brave for his own good. And those are the kind of qualities I love the Bat Mad Max uh, that he just didn't have. And then that movie was bad for a lot of different reasons. I mean, the look and feel of it was great, but the way that the character was betrayed was uh, portrayed, not betrayed. And it was just bad because he had these pregnant women or whatever else, he threw them out into the desert. You, that's not a hero, man. So right from there, I was already turned off by that character. And yes, it was more of a Furiosa story to begin with. Uh, and she was a better character than the way Tom Hardy was written to play that part and then even portrayed himself. So, yeah, I wasn't a fan of, of Fury Road for a bunch of different reasons. So, but I am a fan of Anna, Anna Taylor-Joy and uh, I'm kind of hoping this is decent. Um, so, uh, I, I, I like the Chris Hemsworth nose thing that he's got, you know, stuff like that. And then we have the villain from Fury Road. Uh, of, I don't know if he's it's a different, obviously probably a different uh, actor playing that role with the face mask on with the teeth. So, yeah, so let's check it out uh, and uh, see how this goes. All right. Furiosa! We've come too far. So we really start with her as a child. George Miller, there you go. Apparently she escapes. Uh, this nope, child maybe not. World was forever changed. I always liked the face paint that Charlie Theron had on too, like the, the blue hair, uh, head, forehead. And he took it all from me. Now shooting this stuff in the middle of the desert, day in and day out. I've done it, man. It's it's not fun. In fact, I I used to have hair on this arm. <laughs> Reminds me like a grindhouse. Whatever you have to do. However long it takes. Promise you'll find your way home. Protect the green place. It's time to take the runway out! Ready? <laughs> yeah, he did, that, the villain always had a good look. And I really hope that they stick with a lot of the practical effects rather than going CGI. <laughs> like, that's going to be CGI, of course. There will always be war, but to get home, Furiosa fought the world. 
guess we'll see how she loses her arm. I'm not sure I like the bald look on her. It looked better in the beginning. I just hope the script's better. And that was my biggest problem uh, with, uh, with the last movie. Was uh, was just a script. I like the look and feel of it, and I thought I think I, I like the look and feel here smart, as well. But um, Our product. but yeah, I guess we'll see what happens with it. But I uh, I I like I like the look and feel of all the films, and uh, I I liked the way that Mel Gibson portrayed the character, and he was still a hero. Like even in the in the in Thunderdome. You know, he could have just let all those kids and everything else just kind of go go to the wayside and him be, you know, the uh, the anti-hero where he kind of does whatever benefits him. But he didn't. You know, he always... And then even at the end of Road Warrior, he's the one who ends up driving, you know, I don't know if he knew or not that he wasn't really driving the, uh, the gasoline. But, you know, he, he took on the burden of these people. You know, and he could have just stolen some gas and left, but he didn't. So, I don't know. I, th I think he's more of a hero, especially when he starts out as a cop. I mean, he still has that cop mentality of trying to help people, uh, even in this apocalyptic world. And that's what made him what he is. So, anyway, that's my two cents on that. Uh, so, let's see how Furiosa is. I'm excited to see it, mostly because of the cast and, and, the, and the, the world that was George Miller uh, built. And I just hope the script is better and we see a little bit more, you know, heroism uh, come out of these characters. Because that's why I go to see this stuff. And, you know, we have villains and we have good guys. Let the good guys be good guys, as far as I'm concerned. All right, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check out some other videos. And if you can, like and subscribe. And remember that uh, I am on Amazon with my own uh, projects. You can see some of the graphic novels and things behind me. Uh, Destiny Aurora and Lords of L.A. And, uh, and... Tales of Rabbit or the Iron Witch and all the other stories that I have on Amazon. All right, talk to you guys soon. And again, I'll see you on the next episode. And let me know what you guys think of Furiosa. Are you guys excited? Not so excited? Let me know.